Hi, I'm Josh Meyer, Mount Lebanon Building Inspector with How To Lebo. Today, I'm going to show you how to read a property survey, similar to this. Learning to read a property survey will help you understand your rights as a landowner. You can find your property lines, zoning information, underground utilities, and other characteristics of your property. Uh, you can see I have a sample property survey in front of you here. Uh, if I zoom in slightly, one of the most important things about your property survey is this outer dashed line. These are your actual property lines. One of the most important things about the indication of your property line is you see here out front where it says street name. This area between the curb that's highlighted yellow and this front property line is actually right of way. Most properties do not go up to the back of the curb. That area is considered right of way. In that right of way, that is the street, the public utilities, storm sewers, sanitary sewers, those things would be in that public right of way out front. This particular generic street name is a 50 foot right of way. So for some general quick idea of where your front property line is, if you do not have pins or permit markings, if you measured half the distance from the center of the street, so 25 feet in this case, that would get you roughly where your front property line is. So that's the, the gist of where your boundaries, your property lines are. Next on this survey, uh, the building line. Every property is different, but in this case, the building line is 35 feet. Building line indicates, by definition, this is your front yard. Uh, most accessory structures and items that can be built by our zoning ordinance are not allowed in the front yard, particularly fences, sheds, things like that. So you want to pay attention to this building line on your survey if you're applying for a permit particularly where you want to place those items. Particularly on the right-hand side of this dwelling, it's 18.8 .8 feet, the right-hand property line. And on the left, it's 10.3 feet in the front corner and 10.2 feet in the back corner. Now, these dimensions can be important for installing uh, things like decks, patios, when you have to pay particular attention to the required side yard offset dimensions how close you are allowed to get to the property line for those items. Another item on the property survey, uh, particularly on this back area here, you can see there's a 15 foot right of way for public utilities indicated by these dashed lines. These can be different on every property. Some may not exist on some properties, but on this particular property on this sample survey, you can see there's a 15 foot right of way. In here could be uh, overhead electric lines, uh, other utilities, underground sewers, things like that. 